In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of bones in wrist and hand. This is anterior view of wrist and hand. Okay, this is anterior view. This side is thumb side. So this is thumb. This side is pinky side. Okay, and this is right hand. Okay, let me explain two bones of forearm first. It's going to be very important. This bone is radius. Radius is on thumb side. Okay, radius and thumb, same side. And what is this one? This is ulna. Ulna, okay? Pinky and ulna are on same side. Thumb radius, same side. Ulna, pinky, same side. This is how I remember. Radius, thumb, ulna, and pinky. Now let me go to bones in wrist. There are eight bones in wrist. I'd like to separate proximal part and distal part. Proximal part means it's close to radius and ulna. Let's begin. What is this one? This is scaphoid. Scaphoid. And some books say this is as Navicular. Navicular. Scaphoid or navicular. This one. And what is this one? This is lunate. This lunate means luna. Luna means moon, right? So maybe ancient people said this looks like a moon bone. That's why it's lunate. Okay, third one is this one. This is triquetrum. Triquetrum because its shape is like triangle. Triquetrum. Last one is this one, this tiny bone. It looks like this bone is on triquetrum. Okay, this is triquetrum. This one is the last one on the first part. This is pisiform. Pisiform. You can palpate pisiform. It's on the pinky side, ulna side, and you feel bump on the wrist part. That is pisiform. Review of first part. This one is scaphoid or navicular. This one, lunate because its shape is like moon. This one, triquetrum, triangular bone. This is pisiform. Now let's go to second row. First bone in second part is this one. This is trapezium. Trapezium, okay? What about this one? This is trapezoid. Um, I mean, it's very confusing. Trapezium or trapezoid. How do I distinguish these two bones? Okay, trapezium has articulation with thumb. So that is why thumb and trapezium. Then the other one is trapezoid. This is how I remember. Trapezium is on thumb side. Okay. Third one. What is this one? This looks like long head, right? That is why this is capitate. Capitate bone. You know, CAP means head in anatomical terminology. Okay, last one from wrist bone. That is this one. 
This is homemade. Homemade means hook. So its hook is this part. This bone looks like PZ form. You know, PZ form is this one, but this one is not PZ form. This is part of homemade. So this part is hook. Okay, that is why its name is homemade. Hook bone. Review of second row. This is trapezium because it has articulation with thumb. Next one, trapezoid. The other one, right? Third one, this is capitate because its shape is like head. Last one is homemade because it has hook shape structure. Okay, this is second row. First row was scaphoid or navicular, lunate, triquetrum, and pisiform. Now, let's move on to hand bones. Okay, this is wrist bone, which I just explained. Okay, what are these bones? These five bones. This is like a, a fist and palm bones. These are metacarpal bones. Metacarpal or metacarpal bones. This is on palm. This is on the fist part. Metacarpal bones have a relationship with wrist bones and these finger bones. What are finger bones in anatomical terminology? That is phalanx. Phalanx or phalanges. Phalanx is singular terminology. Phalanges means plural terminology. So phalanx means the one bone. Phalanges means multiple bones. Okay? Metacarpal bones and phalanges. Thumb only has two phalanges and other four Fingers have three phalanges. One, two, three. Proximal phalanx. Proximal phalanx. And middle part. And distal part. Proximal phalanx, middle phalanx, and distal phalanx. Thumb only has two Phalanx, you get distal part and proximal part. Oh my gosh, bones in hand are hard to memorize, but this is just repetition, repetition, repetition. Once you get over this repetition, I am sure you will get uh, memorizing terminology. So in this video, I explained anatomy of bones in wrist and hand. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.